I'm Jamie Parker here at Alumni Stadium with two very special guests, Jeff and Allison Crowther, who just got honored on the BC field because of what an amazing, amazing son you had, Well, So just talk about what it, how it was going out there on the field. I was, I can't remember. I was just so overcome. It was beautiful. I, and, and seeing BC's football team all lined up waving to us and so forth. I was just so happy and I know Wells is sitting somewhere up in that student section. He's got a yellow t-shirt on and <laughs> but he's watching out for those kids up there and uh, he, he loved it here. Absolutely loved it here. Allison you can feel his legacy here knowing that BC handed out 6,000 red bandanas. You and I are sporting ours as well but you can see the whole entire student section surrounded with red bandanas. I know, it's just an incredible sight. And we actually were down in the area where they were handing them out and the enthusiasm with, and excitement with which the students took the red bandanas and understand the story. And, and that's what we really hope with Wells' story is how it works inside of others to help Chase them Rennie become better parents, Valley. citizens, civilians, Number military. One. You know, God bless our military for getting out there and, and putting themselves in the line of, of danger. To, for our country, um, it just it was it, it was a beautiful sight. So we just hope um, much good will come into the world as well as the story works inside of others. Well, you can see how his legacy is certainly living on. Jeff, just quickly tell us how when you tell us about your visit recently to the memorial that they have now at Ground Zero. It's absolutely beautiful there, and I encourage everyone to make a trip to New York City. Go down. Get tickets, you can do get them online, get the tickets, go and see it. It's very moving to be in that park with those those pools are reflecting are absolutely gorgeous. But it was it was quite a day because I read names at Ground Zero and, and thank goodness they gave me Wells' name to read at the end of my list and uh, I kept it together but I almost I almost lost it. But uh, my wife had said to me beforehand, now no blubbering. <laughs> Wells wouldn't want you to blubber. <laughs> But I get very emotional. I really do. It's it's tough. He was my best friend. I was his best friend. I've lost something I can never ever replace, and it's it's tough. It's it's really tough. But but all these folks and and those red bandanas energize us and and really really help us. Well, I got to tell you, it gives me some energy too to be wearing this around my neck. And you guys should be so proud for raising such a terrific son. Boston College really finished all of our children off in the most wonderful way that what any parent trying to raise their children the right way would be pleased with, with, with the finishing product they did, they created here. So, I also have to you. add though, Wells, you know, people say to us we raised him too well and I say no, 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 that kid came with the software installed, he really did. The good Lord put him here for a reason, said at some point I'm going to need you Wells, unfortunately it was just 24 years into his life. but. He stood up and did the job, did what he had to do, and did his duty. Well, stand strong because those two of you did your job as well. Thank you so much for joining me.